able to live something like this like at this time in my life and like it's hard <laughs> Welcome back. Today is day eight. My name is Kay. Leslie. And Aww. we are just updating you guys on this journey. A lot of you are probably going to ask, like, why is she wearing a mask in the car? A lot of complications came with this surgery. Um... And I'm just not ready and not, I'm not comfortable yet. It's going to take some time to adjust and it's going to take some time for recovery. Ooh, it's dark, huh? You got a little dark for a sec. I got a little dark, dark. So right now, um, I decided to finally step out for a little bit. Um, and today is date eight. Mm -hmm. Eight or nine? Eight. Today's Saturday. Yeah. Day eight since my surgery. Um quick little update it has to been the worst it has been the worst week of my life Leslie has been a sweetheart taking care of me bathing me showering me feeding me making sure I'm taking my medication on time waking up to take him to the bathroom I think like today I'm able to stand up on my own and not use my walker mm -hmm. She hasn't been really walking. I think we've been taking like little walks to like our mailbox and back, of course, with her walker. But like she said, like this is the first time when we're actually stepping out to go do something and then, you know, try I'm to I'm not really doing home. something. I'm just coming yeah. along because I'm tired of being at home. And my pain is not that bad right now. But I feel like I need to kind of start adjusting to things and just kind of seeing it, you know. But... Um, we're actually just gonna go get her a haircut. Cause it's been a long two weeks. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Um, she actually missed her appointment last week because of my Saturday. surgery. Which it was okay. I'm honestly like, um, bef I think before I was very like on it, like wanting to get haircuts every week. But now it's kind of like, e you know, if I don't get it, it's it's fine. It's just, but right now it's getting a little too rough. <laughs> Yeah, so she wasn't even going to come today, but I was like, let's go, I'll come with. It's just because I'm not able to stay by myself at home, right? Yeah. Like, I can't be by myself, and I can't, like... More like, I don't. I, I mean, we haven't gotten a yes or a no on it, but it's just I don't want to leave it by yourself. Yeah. Just in case you happen to need something that you can't get on your own, then, you know? Yeah, and I, like, legit have been, like, having the worst week... I've been crying every morning. I feel, huh? I let. I feel like I've been crying every morning. It just makes me very emotional to be able to live something like this, like at this time in my life, and like it's hard, guys. If you ever got any type of surgery and it required for you to recover and be home. And just deal with the side effects that you're not used to, you know? It's like, there's, I feel like throughout any, like, major surgery, like, they kind of explain, like, hey, well, you'll have side effects, you know? And then we always think of those side effects as in, like, they're there, but they won't happen type of deal, you know? And I think that's kind of what happened to us. Like, right after surgery, like, the main side effects that we saw, obviously, were the most common ones, which yeah. is, like, the headaches, you know, sharp pains, and then all that stuff. But, like, when it comes to the actual other side effects of the actual facial and how it's acting, that's kind of that, I think, more than anything, like, caught us by surprise. But caught her by surprise because that wasn't something we got right away. It was, like, almost a whole... It started, what, yesterday, right? So it was almost a whole week after the process. So it's scary and it's scary to think about it, you know, and for her like it's it's really hard because I can't say like I'm in your shoes and I know how you feel, but I don't but I think throughout it like I try to like make it a little like funny and like kind of Step in and kind of whatever it is that she has to do then I'll do it with you type of deal Just to kind of show her that you know, it's possible. It's doable and then you know with, within time like it's all gonna reheal itself properly like it's supposed to but obviously, you know, it's the so, process is was hard. So as far as my scarring, um, I'm not worried about my scar. 
it's something that's like I feel like I don't care. Like, it's it's a hidden it's a hidden part either way. And it's you know, only like, about hair, this hair, big. Hair where we grow, like, like back here in my head. I'm not worried about that. I feel like a lot of people think that that's more thing of what I'm worried about, and I'm not. I'm mostly just worried about my face. Um, right now my face has a, a basically I'm paralyzed in half of my right side. I'm paralyzed in the half of my right side of my face, um, and it's really hard, it's really hard for me to eat, to drink, talk. I literally have to, like, drink on this side, it's really hard for me to talk, it's not noticeable, but I notice it in my mouth, I notice it a lot, and it's very hard, it's been a hard week, with a lot of freaking emotions, and I just want it to be over. I'm glad the surgery day has happened. I'm glad that it's over, that it happened, that there's possibly no tumor and it's gone. But all these side effects are really what's killing me. It's putting me down and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay positive because it is still a week out and it's still swollen so, nerves it's and it's so still like my face is still swollen just a lot you know and it's too recent for me to react on it but it's gonna get better i know i know it will and me being like basically uh like a public figure and like showing my face all the time and like you know it's hard but we're gonna get through it and leslie's been taking care of me really good she's been like by my side throughout this whole time i don't even know what i'm gonna do when she goes back to work oh i miss you well it all depends um you know i'm trying my best to to kind of continue to work from home and, and do my part as far as me still having a dog and and me being there for her but um i think like tuesday once we get to once we go to her like for her first appointment like post appointment after surgery like i get to ask a little bit more questions and kind of we get to get a clarification on what's going on with the face you know like how long is it gonna take or you know like type of deals where i'm able to ask like is she okay to you know be on her own which i don't want her to be on her own um you know if if i can I still think i can be for a little uh, i don't i would always like walking a little bit i do get dizzy when i get up and i walk I get a little bit like, whoa, then I gotta kind of like calm down and like stop, you know? I am taking physical therapy. I started yesterday, um, but as just far as for walking, you know, like balancing myself and all that. But I, I don't think, I, I mean, I feel like you're capable of, you know, doing what your, your basics and like walking to the restroom, walking back. But like, you know, when it comes to you cooking or anything like that, like, it's, I just feel like it's just not time, you know? And not just that, but I feel like once you're alone in an empty house, like, it's, your mind wanders, you know what I mean? And I just don't want you to start wandering off into, you know, any sort of, you know, dark thoughts or anything like that. Because, you know, being realistic, it's just, it's a huge surgery and it's a huge change for yourself. And, you know, to deal with that change alone, I just don't think it's fair. I think that's something you're not ready for, you know? Like, you yeah. know. I don't know. I guess I won't know until I actually do it. But, um, just wanted to update you guys on that. Um, the pain, I have not, like, I barely started getting sleep, right? Yeah, yeah, since, yeah, the day before yesterday. Two days ago, I barely started getting any sleep. It was very uncomfortable because on this side, I had my stitches. On this side, I had my swelling. So I wasn't able to lay down. They want you to be laying at a 30 degree angle, which is like literally sitting down, but sleeping. And I can't do that, guys. Like, it's really hard for me. So I really started getting sleep. Um, now I have to deal with this face paralysis. And it, it, and it's a lot. It's really a lot. Um, but we're going to get through it. Let me know on the comments down below if you ever got any brain surgery and this happened to you. What did you do? Um, what did your doctor tell you to do? I'll be asking myself some questions on Tuesday to my doctor when I get my stitches removed. But, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna get through it. It's just a little bit of, it's just steps, you know. Like I said, I feel like when you, you undergo.
undergo such such big you know surgery like us as humans like we want to come back brand new you know and it doesn't work that way like it and never it all has to way. heal you know internally and it's like you have be, to learn to do things all over again and it's like it sucks it's frustrating it's hard especially knowing how i am and how independent i am with everything and I'm usually in charge of everything and I want to be doing everything. It sucks, guys. It really sucks. It makes me very sad. But I'm going to get through it and I'm going to keep pushing harder and just pray to God that everything comes back to normal soon so I can be myself again. I believe it's going to happen. It's just I will. stay positive. But we want to thank you guys for all the love you guys have shown throughout. I know. You know, a lot of you guys have sent myself and her messages. You know, a lot of them we can't open them. Like, believe it or not, like if I'm on my phone, I'm working from two phones on my computer. So, you know, I, I just, you know, I see them, but I, I don't physically get to reply or anything like that. Um, just know we see them. A lot of them, I do read them off to her and stuff like that as well as she sees them. Um, and I have not been on my phone a lot really replying, so. All of you guys that have sent us stuff, you know, like. You know that have been I'm patient so that we're not love. allowing any visitors just because you know everything's still too soon she doesn't feel comfortable as far as the face goes um, and just having a lot of people still. around right now i don't feel comfortable the, i think the noise still is a little the noise bothers me so the, the less the less noise that i can have and the less light is better for me yeah but so. other than that um, but we see it and we appreciate it and we love you guys and we want to say thank you to everyone who has been reaching out everyone who has been sending me flowers my house is flooded with flowers it's and like gifts flower shop. i love you guys it's been it's been it makes me feel happy because deep down i know i'm really not but it does make me feel better um but just want to thank you guys for everything and just know give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments like i said if this has happened to you and you deal with anything like this what did you do um to stay calm and just patient you know yeah stay patient just so patient, but yeah guys like we said you know um just keep supporting us like comment um you know subscribe if you haven't yet all that good stuff that way you guys keep updated and you know i'm pretty sure you guys will see that growth within us of you know the process of her healing and then her going back to her so yeah just you know stay tuned stay and tuned. if you are new to this channel make sure you watch our other videos to stay kind of up to date of what's going on subscribe like and comment and turn on your post notifications so you are notified. notified every time we post a video which is random when i'm doing it too so maybe we'll load this one we up really good yes yeah, remember so. guys at 2k we're posting a home tour so be ready for that um so yeah thank you guys so much we love you guys what is up guys welcome to another video i know i always wear this hat it's my favorite hat which actually i have two of them the same it. this one and then the one um with the green letters and then i want the green one but they didn't have it in stock when i went but anyways welcome back to another channel i mean <laughs> i don't do this often welcome back to another, another video <laughs> i know how we're gonna have a k unless now it's gonna be backwards but now welcome back to another video guys so it is currently 10 32 a.m we are on our way to Kay's first appointment after the surgery which we have lots of questions and hopefully she gets her stitches taken out today so we're on the road she's right here um still the sunlight still bugs her so she has to wear glasses at all times but had the worst day yesterday yeah she did have the worst day yesterday uh super bad migraine it didn't go away it was all day like legit 24 7. Also, it was I eat spaghetti. <laughs> yeah i made dinner she couldn't even eat the dinner um it got to a point where like we almost thought we had to go to the er because it was uncontrollable um i think she took every med possible to help it ease and it didn't help I so i cross fucked myself yeah it was it was pretty bad but we're on our way for a check-in so we'll, we'll get, right the, the we'll get yeah we'll get back to you guys as soon as we get there and then we're praying for good news and everything should be fine so we're gonna ask her about therapy today too about the what we're gonna ask about the therapy oh yeah we're gonna ask about face uh, therapy, not about like um the face therapies or like exercises that she can be doing to be able to recuperate all that stuff back so yeah we, we have lots and lots of questions which we hope we get lots of lots of good answers for so we'll catch you guys in a sec peace so we just got here 
She wants you guys to see her before of her. It's kind of hard to see because After, she has... Well, you showed them the before when I was Yeah, it's, got it's it, so. pretty scabbed. My hair is growing. Yeah, we got, low, going. we got a little peach fuzz going. But we'll check you guys when we get inside. The outfit of the day. Outfit of the day, comfortable. The Halloween mask on. <laughs> Guys, so stitches are now out. She will heal on her own. Uh, looks like top already healed. It's just the bottom that needs to heal a little bit better. But everything looks good. So itchy. 